Mr. Speaker, I just want to debunk this talking point that I hear over and over again from my, uh, from my friends. I just heard it right now when we were talking about spending. So let's remember a couple of things. First, when Donald Trump was in charge, $8 trillion was added to the national debt. That's a 39 percent increase. It's a quarter of the entire debt from all of American history. So please give me a break. Second, let's be clear. Inflation is a global problem. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if you think that the American Rescue Plan drove up prices in Italy or the UK, um, I have news for you. If you think uh, emergency rescue checks are responsible for inflation in Brazil and Australia, maybe you're, you get your economics degree from Trump University. Uh, but uh, that's not how things work. So don't take my word for it. Look at the numbers. Actually, look at the research. And I ask unanimous consent, Mr. Speaker, to insert in the record a letter from the Social Security Administration, which states that Republican spending cuts would eliminate field offices, drive up wait times for initial disability and retirement claims processing, lengthen uh, phone wait times, and create backlogs across the board. Republicans are trying to make it harder for seniors to access Without the benefits so that they have earned. Um, and Mr. Speaker, um, I'm going to urge that we defeat the previous question. And if we do, I'll offer an amendment to the rule to provide for consideration of a resolution that allows the House to state unequivocally that it is our responsibility to defend and preserve Social Security and Medicare for generations to come and reject any cuts to these vital programs. And by the way, these two programs have come, to, come under attack by Republican after Republican. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of my record into the amendment um, and, uh, and, and along with any extraneous material immediately prior to the vote on the previous question. Without objection, to so discuss order. our proposal, I yield a minute and a half to the gentleman.